taking in deep breaths. All right, let's get started. Welcome everybody, nice to see you. I see uh, several new faces this week. And so I'll just introduce myself once again. I'm Jesse Mahoney. I am a pediatrician, a mindful coach and a yoga teacher. And I've worked in physician wellness for over 20 years. And I teach these classes on Saturdays for fun and as a passion project uh, because it keeps me doing yoga. And we have over the last three years, they started last um, March 2020 at the beginning of COVID become quite a Saturday community. So I love gathering with all of you um, all over the world. And I know some of you it's midday and some of you are in Europe and so it's evening. And so welcome to all of you. And these classes are an invitation. What I offer is a suggestion and what you do is your choice. And so I want to um, encourage you all to listen to your bodies and do what works and opt out of what doesn't. Many of us coming um, in as high achievers and many in medicine, we don't pay attention to what works for us. And so this class is an invitation to pause and notice and adjust and adapt. So taking a moment to arrive, to transition well into this beautiful Zoom yoga space. Connecting your ischial spines downward into whatever you're sitting upon, tilting that pelvic bowl forward, align your vertebrae one atop the other all the way through your spine, reach through the neck, lift up the post auricular bones with your fingers, reaching tall, reach the crown of your head towards the sky, take in an inhale, and a huge exhale, drop your shoulders. Flip your palms up on your thighs in an open, receptive position and pause for a moment. Be present and notice how you feel in this moment. Checking in. Come back to the breath, taking in an inhale in through your nose, long and smooth. And an exhale, long and smooth out, even, not forced. One more long, smooth drink of breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as most of you know, I like to have themes for my class. And the theme for this morning is going to be letting your hope shape your future rather than your hurts. And it comes from the class that I taught yesterday as our last morning at the um, Sagrada retreat. And it was very inspired and hopeful and light. And I had this beautiful drive home where I was on a mountaintop overlooking the ocean and these green mountains. And I was all in on letting your hopes shape your future rather than your hurts. A week of letting go of hurts and softening in community and gathering strength from one another. And then I arrived home to um, my almost 18 year old who had a hard week at home. And we had a lot of storms at home and um, he didn't understand how to manage water that intrudes into the house. So we have some water damage and all kinds of things. And so I really had to tap into this idea of letting your hopes and the good shape your future than the positive rather than the hurts and the problems. And so I offer these classes in that same spirit, knowing that many of you are in moments of hurt and challenge, and many in medicine are in moments of hurt and challenge, and many in relationships are in moments of hurt and challenge. And yet I still want to offer this idea of moving forward, letting your hopes shape your future rather than your hurts. And that that approach is kind, it's loving, it's trusting, and it relies on belief. Something that many of us have sort of drifted away from in the busyness of our days. It relies on deliberateness and intention and choice and hope. And so I want to offer that today in the midst of 
whatever chaos is there, you get to choose how you show up for it. And in the beauty of a beautiful morning on a mountaintop at the end of a beautiful week, or when you arrive home to all the things that await you there, including teenagers and teenage drama. And in that spirit, bring a hand to heart and the other hand atop, a practice we do a lot in these classes, checking in with your heart space, hand to heart, the heel of your hand, pressing into that heart space, visualizing the oxytocin that we know is released from the hand touching the heart. If you can't feel your heartbeat, it's not necessary. It's the connection and the pressure and the intention. And if you want to close your eyes, it can help you with that connection. Connecting into your heart space. Our hearts are full of hope. Sending the breath to the heart. Our human energy to the heart. Exhale, let it out. Breathing in the breath right into that retrocardiac space, right behind the heart. Sending that beautiful oxygenated energy there to soften, allow the heart to fill, to expand into it. And exhale, let it out. And as you breathe into the heart space, hand to heart, hand to hand, the dorsal surface of one hand on the palm or surface of the other, envisioning that cortisol melting away. Science also shows the cortisol melts away hand to hand, hand to heart. Breathing in the hope into every nook and cranny, every cell. And breathing out that frustration, resentment, idea that it should be different. I love bringing in hope rather than acceptance per se. A little bit of a positive, lighter sunnier view with a direction and exhaling that frustration, resentment, maybe even anger, breathing in the wishing, the wanting, the hoping, the believing, the trusting, and exhaling whatever gets in the way of that. Knowing that for this hour on the mat, we can connect with hope. Exhale, we can connect with what's good and let what's not be. We can have that duality. That is one of the things that yoga offers is this allowance of duality, the good and the bad all in the same moment. Appreciating one doesn't negate the other. You just let it all be, all the full human experience. Breathing into that heart space and the palmar surface of the hand to heart all of that connection there, reconnecting with your heart space here. A long, smooth exhale. And bring your hands to heart center, rubbing them together, creating a little bit of warmth. Bring your thumbs to your sternum, fingers reach towards the sky, elbows out wide, connecting right into the sternum deeply, enjoying that connection and setting your intention for this practice. And in my classes, intentions are light. They're not goals, they're wishes, they're aspirations, they're hopes. Light attachment to them. But what might you like to attend to, focus on, breathe in more of? What might you like to attend to less, breathe out more of? Both on the mat this morning, or afternoon or evening, depending on where you are. And if you're doing this on YouTube, whenever it is. And what might you like to carry forth with you off the mat? Many of the thoughts and experiences we have here getting back into our body are powerful beyond the mat. Breathing in all of those hopes. And on the exhale, letting go. Lower your hands and open your eyes, giving yourself a chance to come back into your Zoom space, whatever room you might be in, and coming back into your body, mind and body in the same space. 
And today we're going to move a little bit more than usual. So opt in or opt out as works for you. Bring your hands by your sides to your hips, still sitting up atop whatever you're sitting on with those hip flexors released. Take an inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, right thumb and middle finger will grab the left wrist, reach tall, tall, tall. Pelvis tilts forward, spine reaches tall, lengthen both side bodies, do a little shimmy lightly, huge inhale. Exhale, tip gently and slightly to the right. Settle is significant on these tilts. Ground the left hip into the earth and lengthen your whole right side body, the left rib cage, popping open the intercostal spaces, breathing into them, opening them up, bathing them with breath. And exhale, release. One more inhale, tug the right wrist toward the left wrist towards the right. And exhale, gaze over the left shoulder if it feels good to your neck. If it doesn't, don't do it. Come back to center. Switch the clasp of your hands. Right, left thumb and middle finger on the right wrist. Inhale, reach tall, 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 tall. Lengthen the right side body, right hip connects downward. Exhale, tilt gently and gracefully to the left. Breathing into the right upper waist, the right intercostal spaces, the right armpit. Inhale deeply, exhale, release. Inhale, tug a little more towards the left. Exhale, gaze over the right shoulder and let it out. Come back to center. Open your arms out towards the sidewalls. Press your palms into the sidewall. Wrists are flexed, pardon me. Fingers are spread wide, wide, wide. Fingers harnessing the energy. Pinch your scapula together, tight, 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 and enjoy, enjoy all the sensations. Exhale, release. Squeeze your fists tight. Exhale, release. Drop your fingers towards the earth. Gaze towards the right. Bring your neck back to center. Gaze towards the left. Continue breathing here. Raise your fingers towards the sky. Gaze towards the left. Bring your chin back to center and gaze towards the right. The nerves and fascia waking up here. We call this nerve flossing. Release your hands towards the floor. Chin comes to chest, release the neck, shoulders, and notice the abundance of sensations in all those areas. Wiggle your fingers lightly, <clears throat> letting go of the gripping and the tightening. Today's class is an invitation to soften into all of it. Bring your chin back to neutral. Lift your shoulders all the way up to your ears. Pinch them tight, tight, tight. Drop the occiput into the shoulders, lift, gazing upwards, squeezing tight, lots of sensations wakening. Exhale, release the shoulders. Notice how it feels. Lots of tingles. Wiggle your fingers lightly. Gently lift the block out from under you if you're on a block. If you have tight hamstrings and you want to stay on top of a blanket, you can do that, but not needed. Find your sit bones, ischial spines once again. Move the flesh of your seat out of the way with kindness so that the ischial spines connect downward. Knees are bent lightly, ankles are flexed, toes spread wide, wide, wide. Lots of energy coming up through the toes, up through the legs, all the way into your belly here. Use your belly as your center and your strength. Tilting the pelvic bowl forward, slight arch in the lower back, Spine is stacked all the way up through the crown of the head like you're a marionette. And check that belly and notice if you're rounding, tilt it forward. Inhale your arms up towards the sky, wiggle your fingers. Exhale, fold forward towards your toes. Bend your knees enough that you can grab your toes, slide your hands over towards the soles of your feet, palms of the hands on the soles of the feet. Release the head and neck. If your belly's in the way, you can let your knees sort of flop out to the side without judgment. Here we practice yoga without judgment. Breathing in, exhale, release. Let your hands slide up over the toes, over the tops of the feet, up the shins to your knees, to your thighs. Sit up nice and tall. Connect with your sit bones and your belly, rooting downward for that sense of safety and connectedness. Take your fingers, drop them behind you like little cupcakes, but underneath your hands, press your fingers into the floor, 
elbows into the floor, shoulders down and back. Dandasana or staff pose, huge inhale. Exhale, press your knees towards the floor. Feet may rise off, toes spread wide, everything engaged here. Lots of waking up in the back of the legs, huge inhale. And exhale, release, let it out. One more huge inhale here. Press your fingers downward, shoulders down and back. Chin is forward, heart is light in the chest. Heart is shining forward like a flashlight towards the screen and everyone joining us here in this community, breathing in. Exhale, release everything. Point your toes and flex your toes. Spread your legs wide, coming into a wide angle pose. Find your sit bones here, once again, ischial spines downward and your belly is holding everything together like a beautiful wrapped corset. Notice your legs. Um, knees are as straight as you can get them, maybe narrow if you need to. Feet are directly over your knees. Ankles are flexed, toes reach towards the sky. Attend to your toes and make sure they line up with your knees with kindness. Bring your palms to the floor, hinge at the waist, not rolling, hinging, walking your hands forward and notice the backs of your legs wake up. You don't need to go very far. Ensure the ischial spines are connected into the earth and take a moment and running down the backs of your legs from the groin outward, notice the parts of your legs that are on the floor connecting downward. Huge breath in up through those feet and the toes. Toes are spread wide once again and engaged. As a pediatrician, I love toes. They have tremendous energy and we use toes a lot in the class for balance. I often say use all your resources. Your toes are a great way to harness energy when you're tired, a great way to shift energy and perspective. Wiggle your fingers forward a tiny bit more. If it works for you, you can bend your elbows, hinge at the waist, back is flat. Lots of energetic shifts in the back of the legs. Enjoy and appreciate them. Point your toes, notice the shift, subtle is significant. And flex your toes towards your knees, Hinge a wee bit farther forward and enjoy. Huge drink of breath here. Remembering to breathe. So many of us forget to breathe. Huge drink of breath in. Long, smooth exhale. Hinge forward a smidge more and enjoy. Slowly slide your hands up towards your groin. Pick them up, lower them behind you. Cup, cupcakes again. Press into your fingers, lift your hips up, slide forward a smidge and enjoy sitting up on the ischial spines, stacking your spine, reaching the crown of your head towards the sky, shoulders down and back, heart shines forward. Huge breath in here and exhale. Sometimes this feels like we're not doing much work. And at the end of last week's Sagrada retreat, multiple people said, I'm standing differently. My whole posture has shifted. And these subtle movements can shift that. Press into your fingers, pick up your hips, slide forward. Sitting tall, engaging all those little muscle fibers that have been forgotten in the belly, in the chest, in the legs. Ankles are engaged, toes are engaged. Huge inhale, drink of breath right into that open chest, shoulders down and back, shine it forward. Letting it shine its hope, trust, belief, wishes. Exhale, release, and relax. Bring your fingers in front. Notice your belly. Slide your right arm down that right leg. Reach your left arm over the left ear and pop open the left side body. Breathing into it. Left hip rooting downward. Left fingers stretching long towards the right toes. Breathing into everything here. Enjoy it. Exhale, gaze over the left shoulder if that's accessible for your neck. Necks only need kindness, no work. Breathing in here. If you can gaze a little farther to the left, enjoy. Slide up the right leg, lower the left hand, slide it down the left leg, reach your right arm over, pop open the right side. Wiggle those right fingers towards the left toes with lightness. Right hip roots downward, lengthen that whole right waist, open the intercostal spaces, especially in the very base of the lungs. Send the breath there. 
Most of us only use 30% of our lung volume when we breathe. Use yoga as a chance to bathe those lower nooks and crannies, flushing out all that stuff that weighs you down. Like a car wash, breathing in and breathing out. If it works, gaze over the right shoulder. Notice even the slight shift in gaze, what it does to the waist. The back muscles. One more breath here, reaching your fingers towards your toes. Sliding back upright, lower your arms out and up, sweep your feet in front of you and we'll come around to hands and knees. If you have or need a blanket under your feet, grab it. <clears throat> under your knees, pardon me. Being kind always. Something I always infuse into my classes is the concept of ahimsa, which means do no harm. And most of us in healthcare are very familiar with it, and yet we don't practice it when it comes to ourselves. And so committing to doing no harm to yourself. In that spirit, spread all 10 fingers wide, equal pie shapes, all 10 knuckles press into the floor, the palmer surface, the palmer cups flatten, being kind to your wrists, elbows engaged, humeral heads in the shoulder sockets, running down, your torso, engage your belly, tucking your belly button in, engaging all those muscles. Notice your knees on the floor comfortably and tops of the feet pressing downward. Inhale for cow pose, waking up the front of the belly, breathing into it and enjoying it. Sit bones reaching towards the sky, crown of the head reaching upwards. Exhale, round into the fullest cat you can. Reach your belly button all the way towards the sky, head and neck lower. Inhale into cow. Cow is a hopeful position, heart shining forward, crown of the head reaching forward, the belly just enjoying that stretch that it rarely gets, spine enjoying the stretch. And a little bit of wagging your rear here. Inhale into cat all the way up towards the sky, full, 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 full. Coming back to hands and knees, stretch your right leg long, drop your right heel towards the floor, reach the right arm up, coming into gate pose, reach that right arm towards the sky, outer right foot towards the floor. Exhale, lower the right arm over the right ear, stretch long and enjoy the whole right side body situation. Sending it love, kindness, appreciation for all that it does to keep us upright, steady, taking good care of our backs. Huge breath into every nook and cranny, bathe every muscle fiber with breath and hope, belief. Huge breath in. Exhale, stretch long. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, lower it into the left hip crease. Right elbow comes towards the waist, right shoulder reaches back, gaze upward towards the sky. Roll the heart open. The heart is looking upward, shining in different directions, different perspective. Letting gravity allow the heart to fill a little more fully. Different spots of it exposed. Sending love there with the next breath. Exhale, release. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Coming back to hands and knees. Drop your forearms to the floor. We're gonna come into puppy pose. Forearms on the floor, fingers spread wide. Lower your forehead towards the floor. Shift your hips back. You'll wiggle your fingers a little bit farther forward and enjoy this loving stretch between the scapula and the third eye on the earth. Sit bones reaching backwards and towards the sky. Enjoy the shoulder stretch. Two big breaths, bathing those tight shoulders and the front of the chest. And pause here for a moment, connecting with your third eye into the earth, taking a listen. Some of us here with our hearts, some of us here with our foreheads. Noticing where your messages come. Slowly, gently bring your elbows closer towards you. Be kind to your back. Coming up to hands and knees once again. 
Inhale for cow, exhale for cat. Come back to tabletop. Stretch the left leg long behind. Drop your left heel towards the right. Reach your left arm up. Coming into gate pose on this side. Huge drink of breath down the right arm into the heart space. Exhale, reach the left fingers as far in front of you as you can. Left outer foot connects to the earth. A beautiful line and stretch the whole way through the left side body. Breathing in that hope, trust, belief. And some compassion for all the things. Not forcing that hope, trust, and belief, but just letting them percolate around in there. Loosening that frustration, resentment. Allowing it all to be such as life, but breathing in that hope, because why not? Why not move forward from hope rather than hurts? Focusing not on the disappointment and the resentment and the frustration, but focusing on possibility. Many of us don't like uncertainty, and yet uncertainty is possibility. Maybe my new section of floor is going to be way better than the old one. Reaching the left hand up towards the sky. Exhale, drop it into the right hip crease. Roll the shoulder back, gaze upward. Roll your heart open as you gaze upward. If this works for your neck and if it doesn't, don't do it. Opt out or adapt. Notice your heart here, hanging light. Letting it fill with the breath. Letting it expand into the retrocardiac space, filling fully. Softening that tightness, that gripping that so many of us bring to life. Reach the left arm up towards the sky. Coming back to hands and knees. Bring your knees apart, toes together. Fold back into child's pose. Release your back for a moment. Wiggle your hips. Lower your forehead towards the floor. Enjoying. Taking a moment to connect with your hopes, your wishes, to this idea of belief. We often don't believe, we don't hope, we don't trust. In fact, many of us were trained not to do that. But realizing it's very helpful to live a balanced, full life, it's helpful to even out our positive and negative imbalances. Wiggle your hips here a little bit. I like to inf infuse a little play and movement, noticing what happens when you rock side to side. It allows us to soften a wee bit more. Wiggle your fingers as far forward as you can, sending love into the backs of the shoulders and the scapula. Love is also a conduit to hope and trust and belief. When you move forward with love and hope, possibilities and opportunities open up. It's also easier to see which way to go. It's like a flashlight. It's often why I describe the heart as a flashlight, thinking of your heart as a flashlight. Love and hope as a flashlight, rather than the reacting to the hurts, the resentments, the disappointments, the fear, the anxiety. Notice here also your armpits, sending them some love. Bathing them with the breath. One more breath here in child's pose. Huge breath all the way into the groin, deep, deep, deep. And huge exhale, smooth and long. Slowly come up to tabletop in whatever way works for your body. Bring your knees together. We're going to come into downward dog. Walk your hands forward, a handprint. Curl your toes and lift your hips up into downward dog. And pause here. Notice how you feel. 
moving your hips side to side, perhaps walking the dog. Those of you on Pacific time, maybe waking up the backs of the legs. Lift up onto your tiptoes as high as you can. Reach your sit bones towards the sky. Exhale, lower your heels. Sending the breath to the back of the legs. Lots of energy shifting. Enjoying the energy shift. Ground both palms into the earth. All 10 knuckles, high shapes in your fingers. Left ball of the foot connects to the earth. Inhale, engage your belly. Raise your right leg towards the sky. Coming into three-legged dog, press your heel backwards. Press, press, press backwards. Left knee is straight. Everything engaged. Belly wrapping around, taking good care. Huge in-breath. Exhale, bend your knee. Roll your right hip open. Enjoy the opening. Roll the ankle in one direction and then the other. Creating space and openness here. For that hope to come in. When we're so tight, there's no room for some of these things. Allowing yourself to soften slightly and open. It's not all or nothing. Roll the ankle in the opposite direction. Enjoy the right hip, the right glute, lots of sensations. Restack your hips, lower the leg. Take a little adjustment on your um, wrists, lifting up onto your tiptoes. Drop your heels to the right. Bend your left knee, your left heel will rise up and you'll have a lovely stretch in the left side body, left waist. Coming back to center, up on your tiptoes, tiptoes as high as you can. Drop your heels towards the left. Bend your left knee, left heel pops up and the right side opens. Noticing all the sensations here. And if anything is uncomfortable, ahimsa, do no harm to yourself first. We're always so focused on others, but attending to yourself with this concept, lifting up onto your tiptoes, coming back to center, slowly walk your feet towards your hands, coming into a forward fold at the top of your mat. Widen your feet, bend your knees, sink your hips down, a really generous forward fold. Hands come to your elbows and release your head and neck. If this doesn't feel good to you, you can use your blocks and stay upright. For those of you who have high blood pressure, you may want to stay upright. Notice what feels good. Straight your knees, place your left palm on the floor. Bend that left knee, right leg will stay straight. Reach your right arm up towards the sky and enjoy the right outer leg, roll the wrist in both directions. Replace the left hand with the right, bend the right knee, twist to the left and enjoy in both directions. Bringing your left hand to the floor. Take both hands, bring them to your sacrum, interlace them, press your fist towards the back wall, elbows will be straight. Exhale, release your hands towards the front, release your head and neck, sending the breath, the softening to the front of the shoulders. Huge inhales here and exhale. Straight your right knee, twist to the right and enjoy the right shoulder. Bend your right knee, straight the left, twist to the left. And just breathe into it for a moment here. Notice if you're holding your breath, shallow breaths, breathe into it. Coming back to center, allow the hands to fall forward another smidge here. Lower your hands to your sacrum, run them down the backs of your legs. Pause at the bottom. Engage your belly and roll up inch by inch by inch by inch by inch. Your head will be the last to rise. And allow yourself time to transition. Let the blood flow pour down into all the nooks and crannies. Feel the blood flow and the tingling going into your fingers and your toes. No hurry to arrive. Notice your toes, lift up all 10 toes and lower them down. Pause here.
Enjoy the tingles. Bring a hand to heart and another hand to top. Checking in, checking in with this idea of hope. Softening into those hearts, letting them be, letting that duality be, both hopes and hearts. And which one will you pay attention to? Which one will influence your decisions more heavily? They can both be there. Which one will lead the way as you move forward? Bring your hands by your sides. Lift up onto your tiptoes as you raise your arms out and up towards the sky, slight arch back, lower your heels, hands come to heart center. Pause for a moment. Inhale your arms out and up towards the sky, slight arch back, fold forward, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift. Your rear end sticks out backward, back is flat. Forward fold, hands will plant on the earth. Step back to plank and pause here. Enjoy your belly. Enjoy the palms. Notice your strength. Notice the connectedness, everything connecting together. Wrap your belly inward. Your belly has like a beautiful corset supporting and holding it. Shift your weight forward onto your tiptoes, bend your knees, untuck your toes. Elbows will come in towards you. Roll down, chaturanga towards the earth, forehead on the floor. Inhale for a low cobra. Heart is shining, shining, shining forward. Exhale, lower down. Curl your toes and press up to downward dog. I'm realizing I didn't do the left leg. And therefore, plant your hands into the floor, spread your fingers into the floor, arms engaged, elbows engaged, humeral heads in the shoulder socket, connect to your belly, right ball of the foot grounds into the earth. Inhale, raise the left leg, coming into a three-legged dog. Press your left heel towards the back wall, engage your belly, everything connected, strong. Noticing that everything supports it, each other in your body. Probably true in your life too. So many interconnected spaces. We often feel ungrounded or uncentered. Connecting to what is grounded and centered. Press that heel into the back wall. Huge inhale. Exhale, open the hips, stack the hips. Enjoy the front left hip, the right, the front left glute, pardon me. Roll your ankle, enjoying it all. Let yourself bask in the luxurious of this, the deliciousness of it. There's lots of beautiful things here in this very awkward position. Even your hips out, lower the left leg. Coming back into downward dog. Take a huge inhale here. In a lion's breath, exhale. Stick your tongue out and just let it all out. Flushing things out. One more huge inhale, lion's breath, exhale. Walk your feet towards your hands, coming into a forward fold once again. Engage your belly and roll up, inch by inch by inch by inch. Arms will come out and up this time. Slight arch back, bring your hands to heart center and pause. Notice how you feel. Three deep breaths here as the blood flow shifts. Notice if you wanna wiggle your toes. Notice the four corners of your feet. Perhaps notice your arches. Notice the breath. Notice your chest rise and fall. Taking this time to notice and be Huge inhale and exhale. One more breath. Lower your hands, open them out and up, coming into another sun salutation. In California, we've had crazy weather. We're appreciating the sun today. Fold forward all the way towards the floor. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, crown of the head reaching forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to plank and pause. 
Some of you will stay here. If you wish, drop your heels to the right, coming into a side plank for fun. Reach that right arm up. Exhale, reach the right arm over the right ear, lengthen the entire side body and just enjoy it. Stretch tall, tall, tall. Exhale, release. One more big, long stretch. Come back to plank in the middle, heels even. Take a breath here. Re engage your center, your belly button. Exhale, drop your heels to the left. Reach that left arm towards the sky and enjoy, enjoy. Huge breath in. Exhale, reach the right arm over. If that feels good to you, if it's kind. Reach the left arm back up. Coming back to plank. Tip your, finger, your toes forward, lower down, chaturanga towards the floor. Pause, face down. Taking a moment to enjoy being supine. the way we rarely are. Notice the whole front side body here. Sending the breath to every cell on there that's connected to the earth, noticing how it feels to be this way. Huge breath in and out. Inhale for a low cobra, heart shine forward, elbows tuck in, shoulders down and back, front of the head reaches forward. Exhale, lower down, pressing up and back to downward dog and pause here. Huge inhale and exhale, reach your hips back towards the back wall, press into your hands, hips reach all the way up. Huge stretch here. The biggest inhale you can take and a huge, long, smooth exhale, creating space. Raise your left leg once again towards the sky. Exhale, gently bring it between your hands and cartwheel up into warrior two. Arms will reach in either direction. Left knee bends forward. Make sure your knee does not bend in front of your ankle. Arms will be shoulder height, outer edge of the right foot it's connected to the earth. Gazes over the left middle finger. Taking a moment here to sink in. Huge inhale and exhale. You may even want to lengthen your stance for fun today. A little longer than usual. Bend your left elbow, reach your right arm over, coming into a side angle pose. Lengthen the whole right side body here, all the way through the hips, all the way through the fingers. And your left arm is light on the left leg. Inhale, cartwheel back up to warrior two. Exhale, drop your right hand down the right leg, reach the left arm over, fan open the ribs. Straight that front knee. Reach the left hand towards the crease of the back wall and the ceiling, opening everything. Bend the front knee, coming back to warrior two. Straight your front knee, your right hip will come all the way back, arms will stretch all the way forward. Drop your left hand into Trikonasana, right arm rolls open, heart rolls upward towards the sky again. Take a moment here. If you have blocks and you enjoy blocks, use them. Why not? Big breath. Exhale, let it out. Roll the right shoulder open, gaze upward. Notice your heart roll, giving it space to expand. Sending the breath to it with compassion, letting it fill. Sending the message it's safe to open up. Slowly rise upright. Bring your hands to your hips. Turn your toes to face the side of the mat. The outer edges of the feet will be parallel to the front and back of the mat. Hinge at the waist, fold forward, lower your hands towards the floor. Some of you will pause here. If you have high blood pressure, stay up on your fists or use your blocks with a flat back. Others of you who would like to experience any version of an inversion, you can stack blocks here and put your forehead on it. Or you can walk your hands between your legs, 
behind you and hang. Enjoy the shifts in the back of the legs and enjoy being upside down. An intentional shift in perspective. Three breaths here in whatever position works for you. Bringing your hands back in front if they're behind you, lifting up off the block slowly, giving yourself time to adjust and the blood flow time to adjust. If you have the block there, move it out of the way. Bring your hands to your hips and slowly rise upright. Turn your right toes towards the back of the mat. Pigeon toe, the left toes coming into warrior two. Your feet should be, we call it heel to heel alignment. Each heel lined up with the other heel. That will help you figure out where you need to be. Bend the front knee and notice if you need to wiggle the right toes farther forward so the knee does not bend, send, bend extend beyond the ankle. Send your legs and arms in opposite directions. Huge breath in. Exhale, sink in. Notice your arms and if one is dropping wonky, lift it up. Unless you have a shoulder issue, in which case you can wrap one arm around, one arm on the hip, lots of options. Filling the breath. Gazes over the right middle finger. Extend the crown of your head long and your heart light. Exhale, sink in. Gaze over that right middle finger once again. Inhale. Bend your right arm, lower your right elbow to the right thigh, reach the left arm over and enjoy that whole left side body. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Outer edge of the left foot connecting to the earth all the way through the left fingers. Wiggle them lightly. Exhale, let it out. Cartwheel up once again to warrior two. Slide your left arm down the left leg, reach your right arm over, coming into Peaceful Warrior. Two breaths here with the front knee bent. Reach the right arm to the crease between the ceiling and the back wall. Straight your front knee, subtle shift. Notice the difference, reach the right fingers towards the back wall, wiggle the fingers lightly. When we introduce play and lightness, Shifts happen much more readily. They help us soften. Bend the front knee, cartwheel the arms open once again, coming back to warrior two. Take a moment to notice your feet. Does anything need adjusting? Straight the front knee, bring your left hips back towards the back wall, extend your right fingers long, 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 and drop them to the floor. If you wanna use a block, do that. You can have them on the ankle, whatever works for you. <clears throat> roll the left shoulder open and gaze upward towards the sky. You can drop the left hand into the left hip crease if that works for you, if your shoulder doesn't like this. Notice your heart rolling open and enjoying it. Your legs may be shaking a little or letting you know. You may want to lift up all 10 toes and lower them down like roots. Notice what happens there. Slowly rising back upright, bring your hands to your hips. Turn your feet sideways, bring your heels towards each other, sink down into a second position. Coming into goddess pose, you'll likely be in a wide goddess pose and that is fine. Both toes will shine towards the front corners of the mat. You'll sink your hips downward, bend your knees, knees in line with your toes, coming into goddess pose. Raise your arms up into a cactus arm, arms and pause here, sinking your hips downward. Enjoying the energy, the light. Draw your elbows back towards the back wall and open your chest, shine that flashlight forward. Huge breath in. Exhale, sink in a little bit more. Straight your knees, straight your arms, coming into star pose. Open your arms out towards the side wall. Heel toe your feet together, hips width. Press your arms back towards the back wall, palms open and enjoy that opening in the chest. Pinch your scapula together. 
lower your arms down by your sides and give yourself a moment for all the blood flow to adjust. Three deep breaths here. Notice if you'd like your hands down by your sides, opening towards the front or a hand to heart. Those of you who've been coming for a while, if hand to heart appeals, try that. But notice what works for you today. And do it. So many of us notice what works for us and we don't do it. So take that next step. Allow your heart rate to slow here. Bring your hands back by your sides if they're hand to heart. And we're gonna slowly lower down to the earth. We're gonna lower all the way down to lying down. Um, I often like to roll down with legs extended in a very kind way, arms parallel to your legs, and you'll engage your belly and roll all the way flat to the earth. When you arrive, once again, allow yourself to arrive here on the mat and the same thing in your life. We rush from one place to the next, allowing yourself to arrive. Noticing the tingles circulating everywhere. Three long breaths of arriving. Bend your knees. Bring your heels all the way towards your rear end. Bring your fingers towards your heels. Press into the earth with your hands and the soles of your feet and your toes. Lift your hips all the way up towards the sky. Shimmy your shoulders underneath you. Coming into a bridge pose, hips reach skyward. Palms are on the floor. You can grab the outer edges of your mat. Tug them towards your heels as you reach your hips skyward. Shimmy your shoulders underneath you, creating space for that heart to fill here against gravity, a different way, bathing it with the breath and space. Hips reach towards the sky, knees energetically connect. Visualize that heart with room to fill more fully in diastole. Remembering that when the heart fills, it also feeds itself. The blood flow returning in this position to the heart as it hangs lightly. Don't forget to breathe. For those of you that are new to these classes, I focus a lot on the breath. Many of us forget to breathe and breathe very, very shallowly. Simple shift that can change dramatically how you feel, energetically in particular. Reach your sit bones higher once again. Notice the shaking, the wobbling knees, energetically connect heart. Final moment hanging, untuck your shoulders, roll your hips down towards the earth and pause and arrive here once again. Notice, enjoy the shifts, the tingles. Huge breath in, huge breath out. Draw your knees into your chest, wrap your hands on your shins, and rock side to side, massage your sacrum. Enjoy it. All the way to the edge. If you wish to come into happy baby, do that. Soles of the feet towards the sky. <clears throat> Rocking. Knees connect towards the floor. Massage the lower back here. Enjoy the pelvic opening, the groin. Wiggle your toes lightly. Press the knees towards the floor. Notice if you're holding your breath. Bring the soles of your feet together. Press your heels in towards your groin, knees apart. Enjoy that for a moment. If your chest is in the way, bend your elbows and shimmy around it with kindness, no judgment once again. <clears throat> Release your feet, lower your feet towards the floor. Knees will be together, feet apart, <clears throat> excuse me, outer edge of the feet aligned with the sides of the mat. 
bring your arms over your head into an easy cactus shape and be kind to your shoulders. If any of you have tender, cranky shoulders like I do, make sure it works. You can extend your arms in a T, you can release your hands. Take an inhale right into your belly. Gently drop your knees to the right. Left knee is going to energetically connect to the right front corner of the mat, bathing the psoas with space and breath. Two deep breaths here in this easy twist. Exhale, breathe it out. Huge inhale once again. If you wish, gaze to the left. Last breath here. Bring your knees back to center, gaze back to center and pause. Readjust your shoulders with kindness, your hips with kindness, knees flopping together. Feet on the outer edge of your mat, parallel to each other. Huge breath into your belly button to support your back. Exhale, drop the knees to the left. Right knee comes towards the front left corner of the mat and the right psoas gets its turn. Send the breath there. Lots of tightness and angst in this muscle, sending the breath, kindness, love. Even the trust and belief, there's a lot of emotions in the psoas that grips in our um, hip flexor area, keeps us rounded and folded, giving it a chance to see the sunlight. Bathe it with the breath and hope. Tingles, huge breath in. If it would feel good, gaze to the right. Notice what your neck thinks is kind. And notice your heart here, giving it a chance to point in this direction to see kind of 360 today, to fill in all its directions. Get rid of any restrictions, constrictions, breathing into any tightness in that right side. Gaze comes back to center and knees come back to center. Organize your hips, even things out. Bring a hand to heart and a hand to belly. Soles of the feet come together, knees apart. Coming into Supta Baddha Konasana or reclining butterfly for three breaths. One of the most restorative poses in yoga. If you don't enjoy hand to heart, hand to belly, or your shoulders don't permit, try belly to belly, two hands over your belly, right over your belly button, creating like a diamond or heart shape. Sending yourself love in whatever position you choose. If this is too much on your knees, you can bring your feet farther forward towards the front of the mat or blocks under your knees or pillows, whatever you've got. Taking a moment to restore. You can stay here for Shavasana if you wish, or bring your hands to the outer edges of your thighs, draw your knees together, stretch your legs long, and come into Shavasana. Toes will fall towards the outer edges of the mat. Palms will open towards the sky. Shoulders open up. Adjust your clothing if it's uncomfortable. And allowing yourself to come into this most important pose of the practice. Fully relaxing, releasing, surrendering, and allowing all that you've done here to integrate. Appreciating what has come before and letting the breath and the shifts integrate into every nook and cranny and every cell as you move forward. Taking in a huge inhale and an exhale, soften in. Letting the earth beneath you hold you. Letting your body begin to breathe for itself. Letting the thoughts float in 
and the thoughts float out. Allowing yourself a few moments to be and to rest. If you wish to stay in Shavasana, please do. That's the beauty of Zoom yoga. You can take as long here as you would like. For those of you who wish to come out together, gently deepen your breath. <clears throat> Slowly wiggle your fingers and your toes. A huge inhale of hope, trust, belief, love, and possibility as you stretch one arm over your head and the other and your toes long in front, filling yourself up with all these tingles of possibility, lightness, spaciousness into every nook and cranny, huge intentional. Exhale, let it out, allowing it to melt. Draw your knees into your chest and roll over to one side and pause. Taking a moment to notice, appreciate, and enjoy how you feel before you move on. Allowing yourself to release, receive, and enjoy. When you're ready, press up to a comfortable seat where we began. You can sit atop a block if you have one, poster, or just on the earth, and allow yourself to sink right back into that Shavasana-like state. Find your ischial spines and root them deeply into the earth, allowing the hip flexors to release the knees to fall lightly in front. Tilt your pelvis forward, stack your spine, shine your heart forward. Taking in an inhale and a huge exhale. Bringing a hand to heart and another hand to thought. Checking in with your heart. Noticing how it feels now. Noticing if there's more room for that hope and possibility. More room for a little bit more trust and belief. and sending yourself some compassion and kindness for the hurts. They can still be there. All is welcome. You're still connected with them. They still exist. And yet choosing to attend to the energy of hope as you move forward. Today on the mat, off the mat and as you move into your week and the month and springtime ahead. Bring your hands to heart center, press your thumbs to your sternum, finger pads reach towards the sky. Huge inhale and exhale. Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. May you all be well, may you all be safe and may you all move forward from a little bit more hope and a little bit less from the hurts. Have a beautiful week. <laughs>